Hey guys. Trying to let everybody know that I am, this is very, very much impromptu, guys. <clears throat> hey, my girls. My gosh, guys. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Erica. Hi, Chris. Hey, Nick. Excited to start the walk fast trip. Me too. I'm so happy to be doing this with you guys. Tamar. Hey, everybody. So quick disclaimer. I am not feeling good, you guys. Can you believe it? So I'm drinking tea. Um, I don't know if you can hear it in my voice, but... Just, just when I told you guys that my immune system is through the roof, I get sick. <laughs> so I'm trying to let people in the Facebook group know, know that I am live as well, because I feel like there are so many questions. So I hope that I catch as many of you guys on here as possible, because when I tell you guys, my energy level has been... But I'm so excited, though. I feel like this group is growing so quick. And you guys are on it. I mean, what? Let's see. I don't have a Facebook, so this is how I'm keeping in the community. Oh, Chris, you don't have a Facebook. Are you following me on Instagram? I, 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 I have to create this little group on Instagram. Somebody also mentioned group me. Um. I got to see how that is. You guys, I'm managing and juggling so many things at one time. <laughs> I'm scared to start another thing. Let's just say that. Let's see. Is it too late to join the challenge? No, babe, it's not too late. You can actually register still on that same link. The, the only thing with that, if you go to my website and go to the blog, you'll see the very first welcome email that was sent when everybody registered prior to today. So you'll get all the information in the blog post and you can still click the link so you can get all of the other emails that, that are to come, basically, if that makes sense. So you'll get everything with that. So you can still join, please. Yeah, come on. Come on with us, sis. Hi, somebody just said hi from Facebook. You need to give um, StreamYard permission to see your name. Other than that, I can't. I can't see your name. I'm glad you're here to answer some questions. Yes, because there are so many questions, you guys. So I want to answer those before I knock out because Theraflu is calling my name. <laughs> Theraflu is calling my name. Let me make sure I scroll up. I realized last time questions were coming in so quick that I missed so many, and I don't want to do that this time. Um... Let's see. Let's see how many more people will jump on. <clears throat> Let's see. I see. Let me go type on the chat. Uh, let's see. YouTube and Facebook. So, yes, I definitely want to go in and I want to answer some questions that you guys may have. So, first and foremost, and this is like a really, really big one, so many people say they have not gotten an email. If you did not get an email, chances are, if you registered on the website, meaning you put your email in, you have to confirm your subscription or I cannot send you any emails at all. Not because I don't want to, it's not because I don't want to, but I need you need to give me permission to send you emails. I've had some people dropping their emails in 
groups and in, in, in the group and things like that. I can't just add you. I need you to confirm your subscription, if that makes sense. That makes sense. Um, but yeah, that was that's first and foremost. So you can still join the challenge. If you want to see the very first welcome email, I actually posted it as a blog post. So if you go to the website, go to blog, the most recent blog post is the welcome email. You can still register so you can get every other email that I send out from that point on. Because I'm sending check-in emails, checking up on the girls. And if you do have a Facebook, please join the Facebook. So that way, you know, you can get support. Because y'all, they, they are on it in Facebook. Like, I'm inspired on Facebook. The girls are walking. They are tracking. They are cycling. They are weighing their food. They are meal prepping. Like, I'm so excited, you guys. I did confirm, but there's no email yet. If you did it just recently, you're not going to get an email until the next one comes out. So if you want the very first email, you can check that blog post. Okay. The uh, Levester. Yeah. Check that blog post. You can see exactly what the original email was. Thank you, Marsha. Natalie, what is your fast timing eating window? My um, eating window is from 6 a.m. to 11 a.m. That's when I have my very last meal. And um, I'll fast from 11 until I wake up the next morning. So sometimes, you know, it's not like I wake up and immediately eat something. So sometimes it's not 6. It might be like 6.30. So that's my eating window. I got about a good five hours to eat all of my meals every single day. And... I have gotten this question a lot too. Like, what time should I start eating? It's whatever time works for you because everybody has a different schedule. You know what I mean? Everybody has a different schedule. So unfortunately, I can't tell you what the best time is. I, there was a post today in Facebook where somebody was like, do I choose my intermittent fasting or do I drink my coffee? Because she wasn't breaking her fast until later on in the afternoon. And I posted in there like, this is why... I fast <laughs> the rest of the day so that way when I wake up, y'all know how I feel about coffee. It's got to, I got to have the coffee first thing. I cannot wait till noon to have coffee. <clears throat> so that's why I fast so early or I stop eating so early, if that makes sense. Um, give me two seconds, guys. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Had to let my dog out. Okay. So fasting time. Yes. Make whatever time works for you. That's the time. The most important thing that you want to choose as far as your fasting is how many hours are you going to do? And if you're a beginner faster, 12 hours, then slowly bump that up as you see fit when you get comfortable. I'm doing about 18 to 20 hours. Okay. Hey, Nat, I'm so proud of you. What? Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. I used to work with her. Oh my God. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. I miss you, Gwen. Shawnee is out doing her walk right now. Let's get it. Hey, Lily. Lily, you are on it. I always say it, but I, I appreciate you. I think I'm starting my day with a workout before eating anything really helped my appetite. Yeah, that's good. You know, I, in the beginning too, I had, I used to wake up really, really early and just walk. And then I found like doing Pilates first and then doing my walk in the afternoon worked best for me. There was sometimes I would do the Pilates first and then immediately went into my walk. When I have time, I do that as well. Um, did you guys get the, the email? Well, I know some of you didn't, and I'm going to apologize right now, but it was, you know, it was more motivational. I'll talk about what I talked about in the email, but I did leave the link to my little blurry Windsor Pilates video. Y'all, when I was writing the email, I was cracking up 
Because I was like, they are going to kill me for sending this little blurry video. But some of y'all did the video. And I was like, yes. Your morning email got me pumped. Yes, I'm so glad. Completed my walk this morning. Yes. Hey, Melanie. Melanie's been helping me out. Melanie caught me today. She sent me a message. She's like, girl, I got some questions. Melanie's trying to really help me. Melanie, Lily's been helping me. My mom has been helping me. I had another friend helping me moderate. When I tell you guys, this has gotten really, really large, really, really fast. I think we have almost a thousand girls, if not a thousand girls in the group right now. So, whew, so exciting. And then I saw this comment. Thank you so much for your immediate response on the merch request. Thank you so much. Yeah, so I dropped merchandise, you guys, like T-shirts um, and all types of stuff. It was so exciting. Well, the thing about it is, which made me cry, guys. So I got to tell y'all this. I got emotional and I was boohoo crying at work. Mind you, you know, when you don't feel good, that makes you so much more stuffy. I was boohoo crying at work because I didn't even announce to you guys that I was dropping these shirts and hats and mugs and all this other stuff. And people were ordering it. People were ordering it. And I was shocked. I was like, oh, oh my God. Oh my gosh. So thank you so much to those who have gone in there and ordered already. That means so much to me. Like you guys have no idea. So I appreciate it. Uh, let's see. Let me look at questions. I ordered a pil Pilates ring and found the see the Pilates workout. Yes. Oh, yay, Lily. That should really be helpful. I'm recruiting pals so we can walk with our girl shirts. Oh, Indigo, I love you. That's so sweet. How cute would that be if we did like a walk with our little It Girl University, our campus queen t-shirts? We should do that. I love that. Hey, Kinetic. Jenny, I started today using Lose It, trying some of the foods you eat on my walk this morning. So excited. So exciting. I love that. How often will you be doing these awesome check-ins during the month? You know, um, I, I feel like I have to do it more often than I initially thought. I didn't know if I was going to do check-ins this way, but I didn't, it's growing so quick. This is the easiest way for me to talk to a large portion of you guys. So um, let's see, Susan. Oh, yes, your channel's up. The channel is blowing up. Guys, I think I'm at 18,000 subscribers right now. It's unbelievable. All I could do is say thank you, God. And because I'm I'm nothing without God. Um, wow. Yeah, I'm at 18,000 subscribers, guys. Thank you so much. So questions. Do we have questions? I know we have tons of questions in the chat. Um, I saw questions. Melanie mentioned questions about recipes. For those of you that are in the Facebook group, if you want to share recipes, there is a doc section in the group where you should be able to, I'll make sure the permissions are set, where you can leave recipes that you try that work for you. I would say if you can post, um, if you have like macros, like if you could post how many calories or something or a serving, that would be great and really helpful. But I want to talk about food for a second because this is so important. I have a couple things I got to get off my, um, on my, my checklist to talk about today. So for food, um, the most important thing about food, I think you guys is tracking how much of whatever you're eating and making sure you're under your daily caloric intake, right? So if you're eating no more than 1600 calories, you need to map out how much each item you're eating per day is going to cost you in calories. Basically, let me say that how much is going to cost you, which is the reason why I recommend the lose it app. And there might be other apps. Use whatever app works best for you. But the way that you want to weigh your food. So I start with my proteins. I start with my dinner first. So if I'm eating a piece of salmon and rice and veggies, I'm going to weigh out my salmon first. And I'm going to enter that into the Lose It app. And I'm going to build my meal and how much of rice I put and how much vegetables, vegetables I put based on my salmon, if that makes sense. Breakfast. My breakfast is the same every morning. It's two eggs, two turkey bacon, and my multi-grain English muffin. I put that in the night before, you guys. 
So I already know I put my coffee in the night before. Does that make sense? So all you're going to do is plug in my, my yogurt is 90 calories. I already know that I plug that in. I'm going to weigh my strawberries. I'm going to weigh how much honey I put in and I'll know how much honey I'm going to put in because I know how much calories I can work with. Does that make sense? So pre-plan your next day's calories the night before, which is why I recommend lose it. And I know cost might be an issue for some people. And I know people want to use the free app. So use whatever app you can. But the reason why I recommend that app is because you can more accurately guess how much or not guess. You can accurately tell how much you're eating in a day if you plan it out the day before. I hope that helps. Someone asked me to do a video. I think I'm going to do a vlog style video in a day of how I wake up, work out, weigh my breakfast, weigh my food. I'm going to be very in detail. It will not be aesthetically pleasing. It just won't. I'm just going to vlog it. It's going to be raw and real. Um, I was about to say to answer some questions. Yes, Melanie. Melanie got me today. She's like, I got question number one, question number two, question number three. Um, I had black coffee today for the first time. Ooh, wee. Black coffee is not fun. <laughs> Black coffee is not fun, which is why I set aside about 100 calories for my coffee. I want a really, really good coffee. Can't wait for that video. Yes, Erica, I'm excited to film that, actually. Vlogs are my favorite thing to film and edit. Angeli, hi, everyone. Hi, Natalie. Hi. Will you share your coffee recipe again? Yes, I do two ounces of almond milk, and I do 30 mils of whatever coffee creamer you like. I use Silk. For the most part, in that video, I did use International Delight Sweet and Creamy. And then I do a few pumps of Tarani sugar-free syrup, the salted caramel. I do the brown sugar sometimes, any one of those syrups. As long as it's zero calorie, I'm, I'm doing it. Zero sugar, sugar-free. But black coffee is not for the weak, y'all. Due to my knee surgery, I'm using my stationary bike instead of walking. Yes, that's fine. I'm sorry. You pulled it. I'm so sorry. Ugh, I hate pain. I hope you get better soon. Yeah, the stationary bike is fine, you guys. You know what's most important? That's another thing. So, um, so now that we're on that, we got the food out of the way. I'm going to be more in-depth and show you guys how I weigh my food and how I track it on the Lose It app. I'm going to get very in-depth with that. I got that coming for you guys, I promise. Um, I got a lot, I saw a lot of posts today about, hey, what incline are you walking on today? And some people were like, oh, I'm on incline 12. Y'all ain't got to do it. If, if you're in, if you're shooting for the highest incline, if you're shooting to get your heart rate up super fast, you're not going to use fat for energy. You're just not. And the goal is for you to use fat as your energy. So you should be able to comfortably have a conversation while you're on this walk. If you are out of breath, if you're like, <sighs> mm -mm, you're doing too much. So get your heart rate monitors on. And walk at the incline and the speed that gets you to your target heart rate. Do not go full speed ahead. So asking, if you want to ask people what incline they're doing, that's cool. But just know that you don't have to shoot for that incline because what might get Mary to her target heart rate might be zero incline 2.5. Does that make sense? You, you don't have to do that. So like, right, someone asked me what mine was. I, I need to do a four to five and a 3.0 to 3.2 to get to my target heart rate. So, but I, I walk, you know, so I need that little bit of incline. Sometimes I got to go up some because you're at, with cardio, your heart is going to get stronger and stronger and stronger. So you're going to find yourself having to add incline as you go. And maybe you will end up at a 12 at some point, but if you haven't been walking, you do not need to be on a 12. Let's see. Oh, thank you so much, Melanie. Yes. Hit the like button, you guys. Please hit the like button. We definitely want to grow this group. I want this to be super huge because I love, love, love the support in there. You guys are driving me. You guys are motivating me and you're inspiring me. Facebook user, hello. I can't see your name, love, unless you give StreamYard permission for me to see your name. My coffee is heavy. 40 calories from collagen, 10 from Benefiber. 
MSM crystals. Oh, indigo, you're on the MSM. I'm, I'm, I love it. I'm with that. And 35 calories from, yeah, that's a good coffee. Love that coffee. That's my type of coffee. You guys, MSM, top tier. You want, you want your hair to stop shedding? MSM. How do we figure out the heart rate again? You can do a quick Google search, heart, uh, fat, um, fat burning heart rate. And it's, it has to do with your age. It has to do, um, it's, it's your age. It's going to give you like a, a, a target heart rate, but it's going to be like a range and you just want to stay within that range. So do a quick Google search. You'll see tons of charts will pop up. Checking in from Ohio. Hey, Danica. Hey, you guys. A lot of you guys are popping in from Facebook. Hi, everyone. What do you y'all wear to work out? I look a hot mess in my oversized seat and see her pants. <laughs> um, just some leggings, babe. Some leggings. I have some um some Nikes that I some Nike walking sneakers that I like. I think I I think I linked it actually in my um, video, my either my uh, weight loss video, or I might have linked it in the food, the what I eat in a day video. But I say whatever you got to wear. Well, I love a good, cute outfit. You guys already know. I say that motivates you. Some really cute workout wear motivates you. Um, heart rate monitors. I'm using my Apple watch. Um, so there's like the Fitbit is a good one, but any heart rate monitor, you can check, um, Amazon for a heart rate monitor. What is MSM? It's, um, it's a supplement. You can get it off of Amazon. It's a powder supplement. You'll take it along with vitamin C. You could drop it in your coffee, your water, your green juice. And when I tell you guys, it helps with inflammation. If you have inflammation, a lot of people use it for arthritis. Um, it, But the, the other thing that I don't even know if a lot of people take it for this reason, that it does hair stop shedding in its tracks. Like it stops your hair shedding, like growth. It, it, it prolongs your growth stage and it slows down your shedding stage. Love MSM. Your hair going to get long and thick and wild though. So if you're down with that, go for it. Just got to the gym. Crazy day, but I'm getting in. Yes, get it in. Yes, Target and Walmart have really cute sets. Amazon, really cute sets. If you're on Facebook, I can't see your name um, unless you give StreamYard permission. So I hate that I can't respond to you guys um, and call you by name. Let me see if I missed any questions. Okay, so I got the food out of the way. We talked about the heart rate. And we talked about fasting. Did anybody miss that? Anybody just jumping in that missed the fasting? The fasting is going to be whatever time works best for you. This is really simple, guys. You want? I want you guys to keep this as simple as possible. Weigh your food, fast, start where you can, stay in your target heart rate zone, sleep well, hydrate, make it easy. How long is the challenge? Um, we're doing 30 days to start. LaTanya, I missed it. I just got on. So quick recap. I mentioned, do you have any particular questions? Because I was just kind of going back, talking about weighing food. I'm going to post a video. I'm going to do a vlog style video, like a, a day in my life, like how I essentially what I do every single day. And I'm going to go in depth with how I weigh my food and how I track it on Lose It. Um, I talked about the target heart rate how you want to stay in your target heart rate and that you don't need to go all out balls to the walls on any treadmills or anything like that. Am I saving the live? I am saving the live. I think this app saves it for me automatically. So yes, absolutely. <clears throat> hey, Erica, thanks for, th thanks for doing it with me. You guys, thank you for doing this with me. I genuinely feel like we have like this sisterhood guys. Like, uh, you have no idea. I can't even explain. I can't even explain. So any other questions that we have? How do you guys feel today? I mean, y'all already know I feel crazy, but what do you, what about you guys? Like, how are you feeling? How are you 
has anybody had any moments where they just felt like this is a lot or discouraged or mentally? How are you guys feeling? Nikki, how do you join the challenge? Um, you know, I don't even think I have anything in this link. If you go to, guys, somebody help me out. <laughs> Can somebody comment? Um, if you want to go to my website, let me let me see. I, no, hold on. I learned how to do this the other day. I learned how to do this the other day. Let me, you're just going to go to this website. You're going to go to this website here. You're going to go to blog. And the very last post, the most recent post, there's a join. There's like a, you can, uh, an email text box. You can plug it in there. You can see the very first welcome email and you can join the challenge that way. And I'll be sending periodic emails over the next 30 days. And then join the Facebook group as well. But that's on that blog post. Welcome, babe. I'm so glad you came across us. Erica, she said in the name of, <laughs> I feel good. I love it. Feeling motivated. I'm glad to hear that. I feel amazing. I feel great. I love this. Have you lost more weight since my last video? Well, since the last video that I posted, I'm about the same. I'm about the same. But then again, I was waiting. Y'all, y'all know I was having my last few hurrahs before we got into it. <laughs> but I'm going on a trip in May, you guys. So I'm going to tell y'all I am on it. Um, let's see. Last month was a lot for me. And I'm just happy this challenge came at a time when I need to manage the power. I feel you. I'm so glad that it came. We could do this, so jazzy. We got this, and I'm glad you don't have to do it alone. You got all of us. It's a lot of us. Yeah, I feel like, you know, I feel like what our group has and all the girls, we're like a little community, and we all want to see each other win, and everyone's just motivating each other. We have our accountability partners, and I think that's so important because um, especially if you're just starting, Man, if I would have done this when I was just starting, wow, like it would have been more of a breeze. I had a lot of back and forth that I, even though I knew I wanted to do it, but it was still hard. You guys, every day I had to make a decision every single day and I had to do it on my own, on my own. Nobody was, nobody was doing it with me. If I had this community, oh my God, like I'm about to be fine y'all. Cause y'all, when I tell you, you guys have me motivated, sheesh. What do you think of giving ourselves non-food rewards when we read? Absolutely. I did it. Um, good question. Giving yourself a reward when you reach your weight loss milestone and goals. I'm for that. I actually did not give myself food related rewards when I started losing weight at all. You know what I would do? Like if I wanted something, whether it's a clothing item or it was a jewelry or something like that, I congratulated myself with that. So I think that is great. Maybe make a list of things when you hit per certain milestones, then you get yourself that thing. That's good. I love that. I love that, Susan. I'm feeling great. Completed my 45 walk. Going to walk a little bit more. Yes. Anniversary is in May and I have a trip. I know that's right. I have a trip in May as well. So I'm with you. Cruise and cruise. You have a cruise ne this month? Oh, next March, April. Okay, so you got some. Oh, what? In the Girl, you about to be there. Can you go over the food scale and how many grams proteins tie in with the caloric deficit? Yeah, so it's really simple. So, um, okay, so I'm going to start with my breakfast. With my breakfast... I don't even have to, I don't really have to weigh my eggs. My eggs are certain calories. I plug that in and I'm done with that. The bacon, I already know how many calories 
the bacon is. Okay. So when you plug that into lose it, it's going to tell you how much protein you have. It's going to tell you how many calories you have for that particular meal. Most of my protein is going to come after that from my protein shake. A scoop is 25 grams of protein and it's 160 calories. So I, I got that out of the way, right? I'm plugging all of these numbers in as I go. The biggest thing for me to weigh is my dinner because it's either going to be me weighing chicken or ground beef or y'all know I ain't doing ground turkey um, or a piece of salmon or whatever fish. When you weigh that protein out, if it's, let's say it's 250 calories, let's say you've been eating for the entire day, which I recommend you plan your meal the night before so you don't go over. But let's say you're planning as you go. Now it's dinner time. You've weighed out your salmon and you're, you got this 250 calories. But in total for your entire dinner or, or for the rest of the day, the only thing you have in your bank is 380 calories. Now, because that salmon or whatever is however many calories it is, that lets you know how much rice to put on there and how much vegetables to put on there. Does that make sense? Can you guys say yes, if that makes sense? So that's the reason why I recommend doing it the day before, because if you've plugged in your eggs, your bacon, your yogurt, your strawberries, your granola, even if you leave off something like the honey, you can play with how much honey, like if you have your, I literally drizzle my honey on the scale. When I tell you guys, I weigh everything. So I'm going to go into the Lose It app and I'm going to say, I'm going to scan the back of my honey. And I know I only have about 40 calories to play with. So I'm going to plug in, I don't know, three grams of honey. That's going to tell me how many calories the honey is. So I know whether I can go a little bit more. Can I go five grams of honey? That makes sense? So that's the reason why you want to plan it before. Don't, don't just pack everything and then weigh it when you, you're, because then you might go way over. I hope that I'm making sense. Hence the reason why I got to make that video, because I think that's important. Yes, that makes sense. Okay, I'm happy. And if anybody still has questions, let me know. It's a struggle to find the right time to walk. I work full time, single mom and a toddler, but you last video, the last hour really helped. You got it. Yeah, you have to carve out the time. I get it, though, being a mom. I do. I really do. Give me two seconds. I have to let my dog back in. Okay. Sorry, guys. So, yeah, you know, making time, you have to carve out the time. I know this is so hard. And I'm going to keep it real with you guys. When I first started, if I needed to wake up at 4.35 a.m. to make time, then I did that. I'm not saying it's easy. I'm not saying I wanted to do it every single time. But I knew what was important for me, and I just did it. Like, sometimes you got you can't, you can't think about it. You just got to do it. I recommend, let's say if you have to wake up earlier, Sarah, in order to get this walk-in, Get your workout clothes, get your sneakers, put them right by the bed so that when your alarm goes off, no snoozing, we're not doing any snoozing, you're immediately going to roll over the second that alarm goes off. You're going to put your two feet on the floor and you're going to get your sneakers on. You're going to get your workout gear on, wash your face right quick, brush your teeth and take that walk. You know, like you said, you don't want to be lazy. And, and, and half the time, it's just like, we're like, oh, I just want an extra three minutes. But you have, that's why I said, did you guys catch that post when I said, write down your goals, visualize yourself, visualize your best self. Visualization is key, you guys. You, you are what you think about. You are what you think about. You have, you deserve to feel good. You deserve to not be in pain. You deserve to have the body you want. You deserve to not feel sick or tired. You deserve it. You really, really do. So you have to make the time and you have to just do it. 
Let's see, lose it lets you plug things into your tracker as planned. And then when I eat, yes, becoming her. Hold on. Let me put that up. This is very important. You could track a week ahead with lose it. And as you eat each thing, you can just go ahead and tap it and say, boom, I just ate that. I love, I listen, like I said, not sponsored, but lose it is, I love lose it. I love lose it. Lose it has been everything for me. I made my one gallon of water intake. That was hard for me, but I did a good job. I just want y'all to know I ain't drinking a gallon of water every day, y'all. So <laughs> mm -mm. I do like 80 ounces. I started to listen to affirmations when I go on my walks. Yes, affirmations. Have you guys watched my glow up guide video? I talk about affirmations. You guys, when I tell you I came from the bottom, y'all not hearing me. Y'all not hearing me. I came from the bottom. You are me. I am you. We are no different. Affirmations is amazing. You got to talk to yourself because if not you, then who? Melanie said, woo, a gallon of water. Your skin about to be flawless, girl. <laughs> I went into one of those AI apps and found one that was realistic and matched my inner version of myself. Yes, yes, Indigo, do what you need to do, but you have got to visualize yourself and you got to do it every single day, every day. Somebody said, a gallon a day? <laughs> Listen, I'm not knocking you. It is hard. It's very difficult to do a gallon a day. Now, if you're doing it, I applaud you. But you you don't have to, you know? Eight glasses of water a day is fine. You just want to stay hydrated. Because a lot of times when you feel hungry, it's just because you're thirsty. For uh, recommendations for treadmills and walking pads. I have one on my Amazon store, love. And then I have the Peloton aside from that, but I don't know if that's realistic for everybody um, to go out. I wouldn't say go out and get a Peloton at all, but um, I have a walking pad listed on my Amazon store. And then if anybody has one that they recommend, please leave it for Susan. Ready for the glow up? Yes. The glow up, you guys. I'm telling you, a lot of that, a lot of this, a lot of this is going to be mental a lot of it is going to be mindset because every day you're going to have to like talk to yourself. You're going to have to be your own cheerleader. You're going to have to be telling yourself that you could do it. And every day that you get past the hump, you're going to feel so proud of yourself. You know, it's not, I have to work out. I get to work out. You know, I can't wait to work out. That's what you want to start saying. No more. I gotta get this walking. No. I get to work out. Let me get the name of these sneakers, guys. I wish I, I, I wish I could. Um, let me see if I can show the sneakers that I use. I had linked it for someone. Um, I just don't know the name of them. Did you get the? Uh, I think I think I linked them in the welcome email. My sneakers that I love. Oh yeah, Hoka. Oh my God, those are so comfortable. My mother has a pair. Amazing. Thank you for joining us. No, thank you guys for doing this with me. It's the fact that you did it for free. Not a lot of YouTubers do that. Oh, Stacy. Yeah, I mean. You know, I just had to get that information out there. You know, I, I just want to, I think it's just important to help others. Like you have to be of service to other people. I just got done with my walk. Thank God. Woo. Let's get it. <laughs> yeah. Hoka's are fire. I need to get me a pair. Y'all, I've been influenced. I do a walking program on YouTube. Is that okay? The walking program on YouTube is fine. Are you in your target heart rate zone? That's the real question. Are you in your target heart rate zone? That's the biggest question. So tomorrow, 
It's going to be our day two. We're going to keep doing what we've been doing. Make sure you have your food ready the night before. That is so important. Go into your apps, whatever app you're using, start plugging in what you're, you should already know the night before what you're going to eat the next day. Do not do this on the fly. You guys don't, I don't recommend it. How to find the target heart rate zone. Yes. You can just do a quick Google search, fat burning heart rate zone. It's going to, you're going to see tons of charts are going to come up. You're going to look for your age and you're going to try to stay in whatever zone that is. It's like, it's a zone. So my heart rate, I think it's different charts have different rates, but between 116 and like 125, I just stay in that zone. And it's an average. So sometimes I go above it. If I'm, if I'm on a, if I walk on an incline naturally, like a natural incline, like Today I was in the city. Guys, I got rained on today. Oh, Lord. And I'm sick. Lord Jesus. I was walking in the city and it started raining. It did not call for rain today. And I got rained on today. Um, but better believe that when it started raining, I picked up my speed. So there was a time where my heart rate was above where it should have been. Um, but an average is fine. Like, it's not like everything's going to go to hell if you go above your target heart rate zone. But you want to shoot for it. Okay. Oh, thank you. I'm leaving this up here. 220 minus your age and then 70% off of that. That's your target heart rate. I have a piece of cheesecake that I'm treating myself to tomorrow. I can't wait. It's taking the place of my breakfast and lunch. See, that's how you do it, guys. She's not depriving. She's going to enter that into her app and that's her calories for the day. I'm telling y'all, that's how you do it and that's how it's sustainable. It's not a diet. It's a lifestyle. Hey, mommy. <laughs> my mom is in here. Josette is my mom. You guys say hi to my mom. She's been helping as much as she could. <laughs> yes, if you have a wearable device like the Garmin, Fitbit, Apple Watch. Sorry, so late I'm not on Facebook. Is it too late to sign up on your website? No, yep, you can, you can sign up on the website. You can sign up on the website. Let me put the banner up. Um, you're going to go to the website. You're going to go to the blog. When you get to the blog, the very the last post that I posted, which is today, you can put your email in there. And then that blog post itself is the initial welcome email, hon. So I'm so happy to have you join me. The more, the merrier. <laughs> I have been resisting weighing and measuring my food. Listen, Erica, you know what I'm telling you? Because I did too. And then I wasn't losing weight, you guys. And I was like, nah, this ain't working. This is not working. It wasn't until I started weighing my food. You guys, I was doing keto. And everybody's like, oh, are you in ketosis? Are you in ketosis? You should be in ketosis, right? I was doing all the things. I wasn't losing any weight because I was eating too much. I was eating too much. When I really looked at it, when I started weighing my food, I realized I had to be doing about like 2,700 calories or something crazy. Mm -mm. Angelie, you got to go. Bye. Night nurse. She's an, oh my God. Thank you so much. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, babe. I'm going to save this. You just ordered the welcome planner. Go ahead. Let me know if you like it. I walked over an hour today and it felt good. I did eat a bag of chips and I'm not proud of it. Don't beat yourself up. Stay back on it tomorrow. Plug it in. So Ashley, okay, you guys, this is major. If you, if you, if you find yourself and you snack on something, log it, just log it. And then omit something later on. Does that make sense? Don't, don't beat yourself up. Do not beat yourself up. No negative self-talk. Ken Simmons just found your channel this weekend. You're so informative. Love. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. You guys, no negative self-talk. Mm -mm. We're not doing that anymore. Okay? So if you make a decision, because if you, if you had a bag of chips, that was a decision, right? If you make a decision, stand on it. Eat that. Enjoy every single bite. You log it and you move 
on. That's it. Okay. Does anyone else incorporate fresh sea moss in the ooze? Nope. Not me. Not I. Tried it. Almost throw up every time. <laughs> For, there's so I you know what Melanie I hear so many different things but I would say a couple hours before probably at least I, I that if you go to sleep at ten I would say stop eating by seven at the latest you just need you just need some time before you lay down <clears throat> dusted off the scale and weighed my chicken today I know that's right Stacy. I love that. I feel like you guys are are on it. Everybody seems like they're in a good mood. Everyone has like, everyone is pumped. I want us to stay like this, guys. I want us to stay like this every single day. Do not get frustrated. You gotta, this is, this is the year of discipline. So what we're trying to instill in ourselves is discipline. And the only way to do it is to take it day by day. If you could stay disciplined for one full day, you're going to rejoice in that. You are going to be thankful and grateful for that. You're going to be so proud of yourself. And then you're going to wake up and you're going to do the same thing the next day. It's mind over matter. Okay. Mm -hmm. then all this protein is making me full as hell. It's, yeah, that and the fiber. It's really the trick though. The fiber in... The fiber and the protein is what's going to do it for you every single time. Kara, hi, Kara. Welcome. Oh, the journey. Thank you so much. That is so sweet. You guys, I cannot, I've been so emotional today. I cannot cry, y'all. Please. I cannot cry, y'all. Please. Oh my God. I don't know why I just did that. I'm so sorry. I've been so emotional today, you guys. You have no idea. <clears throat> I have a sweet, I have a sweet tooth. Um, Renee, I don't think you have to get past your sweet tooth. I think you just need to pick something that you like. And I think you need to have a little bit of that, right? So just reduce, track whatever that is. It has to be something that you can track, okay? But if I were you, what I would do if you have a sweet tooth, because sugar is addictive, you guys. If you really wanna, if you really wanna like get past the sugar addiction, you have to kind of cold turkey it. And intermittent fasting will help you significantly on your cravings for sugar, okay? Don't apologize for tears. <laughs> Thank you, guys. I just, but I've been crying all day. It's like, girl, get it together. I didn't hit my protein or fiber goals today. Suggestions? Um, how? So, what? What did your? What did today's meal look like today? I would say, um, add an egg. Like, how far off were you? <clears throat> Uh, who was it that said they had a sweet tooth? Who was it? Renee. Renee. Try salted caramel protein drinks from Premier if you have a sweet tooth. Aw. Y'all, I'm telling y'all, y'all about to make me cry. I'm happy to be doing this with you guys. I can't even read the message out loud. Gosh, guys. Mm. Um, yeah, the more protein you have, the less sugar cravings you will have. I'm telling you, the protein and the fiber will do it every single time. And you you can have a little bit of sugar. It's okay. Bye, Melanie. Thank you, girl. Yes, I'll I'll definitely I'm gonna schedule these out in advance. I for the live. So um, Susan asked if I'm gonna schedule out or announce it in advance. I definitely will. This was very impromptu because 
this is growing so fast. I, I can't even address the questions here. Y'all don't even want to, y'all don't even want to know what, what YouTube is looking like. My emails are blowing up. <laughs> so I was like, I have to get on here because I'm not feeling good at all. So I'm going to probably hit the sheets and I'm going to wake up and I'm going to, you know, and, and try again. Why are you crying? Why you said, no, I'm not sad, Renee. Thank you. I'm not sad. I'm actually really, really happy. I just did not expect this group to grow into what it did. And you guys have just been so motivating and so inspiring, just have been saying the most beautiful things. And I'm just grateful. I just love it. Thank you, Karen. 2,000 more calories because I put my cycling in it. Let me see. I have to add a protein shake in order to. Oh, yeah. So that's good. Yeah. If you need to, if you worked out really, really hard, which is why I think it's so important to keep your watches on and track your fitness and have it synced to your Lose It app is because if you burn a lot of calories and your Lose It app is going to tell you how many calories are off, you don't want to, you don't want to dip below like 1200. You just don't, guys. You want to eat. Eating is the key. I had gotten a comment from a sweet girl who said she was eating 500 to 1,000 calories a day. Like, that's not going to do it. You're not going to lose weight. Got to finish my walk for the day. Good night. I can't see your name, but I did see that. Erica, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Erica. Oh my gosh, you guys are so sweet, Renee. Oh, I just said, y'all making me cry. I don't know why I'm so emotional today. I just really am emotional today. <laughs> but I love you guys. Like I said, I had, I put some shirts and stuff and hats I had put on there. I hadn't even announced it. And the fact that people were buying it and I had announced it, that made me emotional then I did announce it kind of before I sent out an email about it and people were buying and I just was boohoo crying today, you guys. The coffee protein drinks are pretty good if you are an iced coffee girly. I love you. I I'm a coffee anything girly. Yeah, so you, uh, if you have a sweet tooth, go in on your coffee. Go in on the coffee. Hi, Cece. I didn't expect there to be this many people on the live tonight, guys. I was hoping to catch as many girls as possible, but I'll definitely plan this in advance so that way you guys can know. Um, and we don't have to just talk about, you know, the challenge, you know, unless you guys have more questions, but I feel like it's self-explanatory, right? Kind of. And then I'm going to do the vlog so that way I can kind of get that out of the way and you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. And then we can get to being girlfriends and talking about, you know, everything. Every day is baby steps for me, progress, not perfection. That part. Literally, I, literally every single day is a step towards a better you. So just keep going. Guys, the time is going to pass anyway. Literally, right? So if you get to the point, I want you guys to remember this. If you get to the point where you're like, you know what? I don't feel like I'm losing enough weight. That is not an excuse to stop. First of all, the t like if you think you're not losing it fast enough, it doesn't matter. A year is going to go by anyway. You, you're not doing yourself a disservice by eating healthy, by walking, by fasting. So that is not an excuse to stop because you don't see the results that you want to see. That makes sense. How do you feel about a pre-workout? Love a pre-workout. I love pre-workout. But I do all the things that people are like, that's so bad for you. I mean, not everything, but I like a pre-workout. Like if you if your energy is low, go for it. I, this is coming from, listen, I'm very realistic and I'm going to keep it real. I was eating almost 3,000 calories per day. I was drinking alcohol. I was taking shots of tequila. There's no, there's not much more poison than I could do to my body. All right. The fact that I stopped that, 
and I'm more, you know, intentional about what I eat and what I put in my body. If I need to take a little energy drink, if my vitamin gummies got a little bit of sugar in it, we'll be all right. So I'm all right with the pre-workout. I just think do your research. Do you think 1,760 calorie is too high for a calorie deficit? Everyone's deficit is different. The journey, everyone's deficit is different. Did you go into that TDE calculator? Um, it says, I'm not sedentary, but I also not really active. Okay, so what? So then what you should do is use sedentary as your baseline and see how many calories it says, okay? See how many calories it says. But you're not going to be sedentary because you're walking, remember? So 1760 is not bad. I mean, 17 something is my maintenance calories if I was sedentary. That's my maintenance calories. I love this thing. People need to chill with the health judgment. Girl, we are not all perfect. We, wow, that's why we're here. I feel like if you're going to get on the video and start talking about every little ingredient, we're just trying to stop eating cake at midnight. Like, baby, give me a minute, okay? <laughs> like, everything else is toxic. I mean, I'm not doing the best now to begin with. So if I stop doing all of that, and my vitamins got a little bit of sugar in it or whatever ingredient people be talking. About. I mean, whatever it is, man, if y'all don't get out of here, <laughs> like, get stop, okay? Like, we cannot be shaming people when they're trying to make a difference, right? Like, it's just crazy to me. Remember, your health is important. Start slow. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, my gosh. Elizabeth. I'm so sorry to hear that. I'm so sorry to hear that. Oh my gosh, I'm going to pray for you. I can't imagine. Damn, that's about to make me cry too. I'm so sorry to hear that, Elizabeth. But yes, take your time, guys. There's, we have nothing but time. This is not a rush. This is not a race. Just gradually do things. I did not jump all into this when I first started. You guys remember, I was just trying to figure out what was working. I didn't lose weight for weeks. Now, I wasn't doing this like that, but I had to like get used to it. I had to, you know, there were times where I would forget that I was fasting and I would go to grab for something to eat it out of habit. So, you know. Texas girl. Yeah, we're doing a challenge for the month. Check out my last video or check out my community page. And I put some information on there. So we're just, we're walking. Did you watch my last video, Texas? Are you new? So we're going to do it for a month. A lot of people ask for more months, but y'all... <laughs> I feel like there's so many challenges. There's so much more to life than weight loss. This is like the jump start to our glow up because we just want to be the best versions of ourselves. So we're starting with our physical transformations. So we're starting with weight loss. We're going to get our skin together. It's about to be summer. We're going to find our style. We're going to find our signature style, our signature hairstyle and makeup. We're going to get our mindset together. We're going to Stop all negative self-talk. We're going to be saying our affirmations. Our goal is to be the ultimate versions of ourself. Yes, text. Yes. Well, kind of. Yes. So I'm answering some questions about the last live, but we're kind of talking about, we're talking about everything. So does anybody have any more questions at all? How often should I do the lives? Not just now. We're not going to be talking about weight loss every time now. Like, I just want to chit chat with y'all. Susan, you're not helping us now. <laughs> Susan, talk about the 20% off sale from Sephora. Girl, my cart 
like two thousand dollars long. <clears throat> Hold on, I'm sorry, my son. <laughs> my cart is going crazy, you guys. Hey, tree, tree hugger. That's cute how you spelled it. Let's go. Day one is down. I'm so excited. Zanita Hayes. Hey, Zanita. Welcome. Twice a week. Should we do twice a week for the lives? More recipes, more what I eat in a day. Yeah, I think I'm going to. Y'all, I'm so boring with the food. Cause I found my my calorie amount, but I'll I'll do I'll do some more. I think I'm gonna do I'm gonna incorporate a what I eat in a day in a vlog. Any recommendations for people who love to eat? We all we all love to eat. That's how we got into this, Rachel. <laughs> That's how we got into it. But all jokes aside, it's a mi mindset mindset. You just have to decide that you want to change, and you just got to do it. Honestly. That's the biggest thing I could say is you have to make a decision. You have to visualize who you want to be. You have to bring out that person that you are inside. And you have to ask yourself some questions too. Like, what feels better? Like being uncomfortable in yourself or wearing that outfit that you want to wear, you know? Not being in any pain. For me, I was in pain, you guys. Like, I had a lot of weight just sitting on my knees, on my ankles, my back. So you have to decide what feels better. You know, another thing that I noticed, too, is that, I like, every day I was dealing with some sort of gut issue. Every single day. You know, just I just was not you know, just bloated and gassy. That's not normal at all. You're going to find that as you get more and more discipline and you eat healthier foods, that's going to go away. Yeah. Accountability. Yes. We have to hold each other accountable. Getting enough sleep. Absolutely. Eight hours, guys. So eat, eat your protein, eat your fiber. That's going to keep you full. And I would say, if you like to eat, eat the things that you like, just weigh them. It's so important. Just weigh them. Didn't I go on Do Not Disturb, y'all? I thought I was on Do Not Disturb. How are people texting me? <clears throat> um, so those that's my biggest, those are my biggest tips. But I feel like we all feel the same. You know, we all love to eat. For the upcoming months or for future challenges, is there a way we can buddy up with someone who has about the same amount to lose? That would be a good account. Mm. Yeah, I, I think whatever whatever works. I wonder how we could do that. We have to figure out something in the group. The group is getting really, really big too on Facebook, guys. I know not everybody is on Facebook, but Facebook is kind of getting a little... I might even have to turn on post notification, like... um. I might have to start approving posts, which I didn't want to do, but I thought it was going to be 10 of us in there, y'all. It's a thousand. I just signed up on the losing app. Thank you. And my food. Yay, Nikki. Doing my meal prep now. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> Shanique said, I don't know what's going on, but I'm interested. I know that's right. <laughs> We're just chatting right now, but we are doing the challenge. So if you watch some of those videos last week, we have a group on Facebook. So if you aren't a part, I have them in almost every single link in my videos um, at the very, very bottom under my socials. Um, you can join the group. And we're all just cheering each other on. We're talking. We're getting to know each other. Like when I tell you guys, the Facebook group is the It Girl University. When I tell you guys, it is a sisterhood in there and it is very much active, like very much active. Let me tell y'all how many people are in here now. I, I can't, I get so many notifications. I can't even keep up. I, sometimes I'm scared to go in. Said, I know that's from, I'm scared to go in. So let me tell you guys how many people are part of the group. We are 
literally 999 women, 999 women in the group. So it's growing really, really, really fast. Um, I feel like my mom, the, the questions are coming. So like the Facebook name, the same as the web. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yep, it's the It Girl University on Facebook. And it has like a little neon. Let me see if I can show you the cover. <clears throat> this is, can you guys see that? I don't know if you can see that. That's the cover. It's like the neon. It looks similar to my sign. Can you work recommend a pre-workout? Um, I've used like Alani New. Um, I like Alani. <clears throat> I would just say with pre-workouts, just be um, be aware of, you want to make sure if it's something that's going to break your fast, that you're using your pre-workout when you're not fasting. That's the biggest thing. Hey, Shay. Woo -woo, let's go. Yes, I love it. Thank you. Okay. Hey, Angelie. So accountability, are you part of the Facebook group? Maybe we can start something like that on the Facebook group. <clears throat> Let me see who else. I want to make sure I don't miss anything. Yeah, so I'll try to schedule some more lives. Um, I'm going to pre-schedule them. But I also have to, I mean, I'm not feeling the best right now. So generally I film my videos on the weekend for the upcoming week. Guys, I did not feel good. So I didn't film. So I'm going to have to film during the week so I can get back on schedule and I can get a video out for you guys because I have several videos that need to be posted. So many things. People were asking me for skincare um, videos. I have a body care video that's coming up. I have um, vlogs. I have travel vlogs that are going to come up. Um, it's just so many, it's so many things. So Angela, yeah. So stay tuned. We're going to, let's figure out a way that we can get some accountability partners. Oh, Angela, Lily said she could. Lily's very active. I know you've seen Lily posting in Facebook. Any recommendations on what to eat to break the fast? Coffee is my fast break. <laughs> you know? I don't, I don't overthink it. You guys just whatever. The only thing that breaks your fast is the first thing that you eat. So it's breakfast for me. It's coffee. Well, I take my multivitamins. I take my coffee and then I can function. This channel is not for perfect people. It's not. <laughs> this channel is not for perfect people. <laughs> I'm laughing because it is not like if y'all want somebody who's perfect, not over here, baby. Not over here. I mean, no, we got to be realistic and we're all just trying to make changes. We're all just trying to be our best selves, but we are not. I mean, nobody is perfect. And if you're looking for perfection and somebody who does everything perfect every single time, it's not going to be me. So I would say you, it, it has to be sustainable. Like this is a lifestyle change and it has to be sustainable. So you got to do what works for you and the, what does not feel like work. It, it can't feel like a restriction or else you're not going to do it. So that is the funniest thing, but the, the, the most truest thing I've heard today, this channel is not for perfect people. If you want perfect, go somewhere else. Because when I say, <laughs> When I tell you the nitpicking is crazy. Um, apologies. Hey, Corlissa. Um, how long are the fasts? The fasts are like, so the fast is, I would say 12, 16, 18. If you're never fasted, I would start slow. I would start with 12. And then I'm just going to give you guys this little tidbit. You start burning fat at about 18 hours and past. The longer you 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 fast, the more your body starts healing each other, and then you and then it goes into autophagy. So just know that the longer you fast, you guys want to know why I have such a long fasting period because I'm trying to burn fat. So that along with my calorie deficit, along with me burning fat during my walk, 
And that's how I was waking up shrinking. And then the app that I use, Corlissa, is Lose It, the Lose It app. <clears throat> and you can set up fast in the Lose It app as well. I love you too. Oh my gosh, I love you guys. Any other questions, you guys? I'll tell you, I'm about to take this Theraflu. <clears throat> I've been contemplating taking the day off tomorrow, but you guys, I even if I took the day off from my regular job, I can't take the day off from It Girl University. <laughs> That's the only thing. Like, I have no no more days off. No more days off. That's the only thing. On my walking pad now. Yay! I love it. I love it. So before I get off, any video recommend recommendations, any, any recommendations that will help you guys along this journey? It does not have to just be food or health related. Like I said, this is more of a journey. The It Girl University is not just about looking good, you guys. That is such a small portion of it. Um, and I will I will begin to tell you guys so much more if you want to know more about my story. But when I tell you, you can have the life that you've desired and the life that you dream of um, by just changing your mindset. The most important thing about the It Girl University is mindset. And then we add on the physical and we add on feeling good because when you look good, you feel good, right? We add that on. It's just like, one piece of the puzzle, but there's so much more to it. You know what I mean? And for me, like, I, I think I talked about this in the last live that when I lost weight, I realized how badly people were treating me based on how I was presenting myself. And if it wasn't about weight, when I wasn't presenting myself and making sure I was dressed properly, making sure I was showing up as my best self, people treated me differently. And I think it's important to talk about that because people would want to make you feel bad for wanting to show up as your best self. And the thing is, that's just how life is. And I don't need to change the world, but I can change myself because my whole job or my whole purpose is to enjoy this experience on earth, right? So you got to like crack the code and figure out like, how can I make this a more enjoyable? It's like a game. How do I make this life more experience or more um, enjoyable? Right. So I don't have to get up every day and complain about the fact that people treat you differently because you might be overweight or people treat you differently because you don't do that. I don't, I'm not going to complain about it. I'm going to do something about that so that way I can navigate in the world that I've been placed in because this is the world that I'm in. I can't change everybody, but I can change myself. <laughs> the hair thing is a legitimate topic. Yes. Let's see. Let me go back and because I've just been just, oh, Lord, I've just been talking. Hold on. I'll be binge watching. Thank you, Shanique. Oh my gosh. I love you guys. I have green tea with Stevia first thing. Hi guys. How's everyone? Hey, OE. You did two workouts today. Yes, Natalie. My name, that's my name twin. Thank you for doing this challenge. You're welcome. I'm going, listen, I'm going to take some Theraflu tonight. I'm telling you, I'm going to be back on it. I'm not going anywhere. Lose it needs to give you, right? <laughs> but it's okay. I just really genuinely love the app. Um, What is a good affirmation channel? Do you, oh, wow. Mm. What affirmation channels? You know, I listen to a lot of audiobooks, guys. I listen to a lot of audiobooks. I listen to a lot of old, old, old books that have been written years and years and years ago. Um, let me just tell you what's in my library. So many good things. The Power of Habit is a good one. Um, Self-Discipline by Ray Vaden, a really good one. Atomic Habits is really good. The Power of Now is the ultimate for me. Um, no, Change My Life. Um, Breaking the Habit of Being Yourself is an amazing book. Um, I also listen to Think and Grow Rich is an amazing book. 
Um, wow. Oh, you guys, you know what? I want you guys to look up and listen to. This is going to be, it, you got to stick with it when you start reading, but listening to it. But The Strangest Secret in the World by Earl Nightingale. That is a 30 minute listen. But he talks about how people conform and how people are very comfortable with being mediocre. And he really gives you like a blueprint on what success is and how to attain that. Listen to that, guys. The Strangest Secret in the World by Earl Nightingale. Amazing. And then Affir for affirmation channels. I don't know if I have a favorite, but I would say maybe just do a quick YouTube um, on affirmations and listen to it. Guys, I, I, I don't watch TV. I don't mindless scroll. I only listen to things that are going to make me better. So books, I'm really truly on a journey. So let me re let me finish reading these. Hold on. <clears throat> Feel better, lose it. Uh, would love to hear more of your story. Thank you, Erica. It's coming. I think you guys need to hear it because because I'm no like you are me and I am you, right? Like we're no different. And so I kind of feel like the things that if if I can do certain things, you guys can. We're no different at all. And I would love to share what I do to get what I've done to get to where I am, where I've come from, how many times I've fallen. I would love to talk about that. Because when you win, I win. Um, I need to download the Facebook app so I can share myself with walking group. Yeah, definitely. I love how sustainable the challenge is. Yeah, I mean, that that's the thing. Like, this has to be easy. How can we prevent our hair from sweating out and looking great by the end? <laughs> you know what, Susan? Let me tell you, the real trick is staying in your heart rate zone. I don't sweat that much. That's why I said, don't go crazy, y'all. I'm trying, I've been trying to say it. Everybody's like, I want to go cycle and I want to go do that. Y'all can do it if you want to. But the key to the heart rate zone is that you don't have to go nuts. You don't have to go crazy. You might sweat a little bit, but you don't have to go crazy because the more strenuous the workout, you're not going to be using fat, okay, for energy. You're going to be using carbs. You're going to be using everything else in the world, but your fat. Hey, Jasmine. Oh my God. Thank you so much. I'm so glad you're here. Um, Susan, you see my hair is in a ponytail. I'm a ponytail girl. My hair is always in a ponytail. And I have already accepted the fact that my hair is going to be in a ponytail until I go to Arizona. I'm okay with that though. <laughs> uh, Brittany, is that you? Tech Bay? Hey, boo. You know, I look, so I'm in Atlanta, y'all. And to get an appointment to get your hair done out here is so stressful because the books are closed. They're going to drop a date. They open the books at 9 a.m. If you want to get on the book and then they don't open it at 9 a.m. because they they doing somebody's hair. And then by the time you remember, because it ain't on time, the whole thing is booked up. I cannot with the Atlanta hairstylist. So I have yet to get a hair appointment to get my hair braided. I would love to braid my hair for Arizona, but I done gave up. If you know a really good braiding place in Atlanta, please let me know. Hey, Latrice, that's awesome. I love that. Latanya, thank you so much. Thank you, Latanya. I'm glad you signed up. Kiki, oh, thank you. Jasmine, you better say it. That's why walking is the best. I'm trying to tell that the challenge is called walk fast, shrink for a reason, y'all. Now, some people can't walk and they have legitimate reasons and that's okay. But I'm the, the minute y'all can walk, I'm going to say walk. Hey, Des. Okay, so your heart rate zone. You're going to need some sort of a heart rate monitor. I have my Apple Watch. If you have an Apple Watch, you could do that. If you don't have an Apple Watch, I would say you want to grab a fitness, a Fitbit. Um, 
there's so many different ones. Somebody mentioned a Garmin. Um, so you want to monitor your heart rate. You're going to go to Google. You're going to plug in fat burn heart rate zone. Charts will come up. You're going to use your age um, to determine your heart rate. Somebody did put it up here. Dang. I did have it up here earlier, didn't I, y'all? It's like 220 minus your age something, but I don't want to mess that up. <clears throat> Apple Watch or Fitbit will do it, guys. Judy is going. Good night, Judy. Ooh, Fly Girls Ask Affirmations on YouTube. I'm going to look that up. I'm going to look that up. Hey, Tarina. Let me see what I'm missing. Walking is so therapeutic, you guys. Yes, Brittany, you just finished your walk. You're welcome. That's so crazy. Yeah, I'm glad that you did. I'm telling you, walking is chef's kiss. My Amazon storefront's under my name, Susan. And then it's linked in one of my previous videos. Uh, I'll be using my mini stepper for workout and maybe somehow low impact Pilates or bar. Oh, I've been wanting to try bar, but you know what? Bar looks hard, but somebody told me they did Pilates today and the Pilates tore them up. I was cracking up because it, it's going to get you day one. It's going, it's going to get you day one, but like your core is going to be on fire. Every time you laugh, you're going to feel it. It's crazy. I use a polar strap with their free app on the most. Aha. Polar strap? I got I to gotta screenshot some of these. Less than $60. Okay. You guys, I love Pilates. Pilates is my favorite. So yeah, try Pilates. It's just, I like that it's low impact. If you don't want to do all the extra stuff and you will get a burn. You will, it, it, <laughs> You will get a burn from Pilates. Your legs are going to be on fire. Your butt cheeks are going to be on fire. It's 20 minutes, but it'll get you. Bar burns. Yeah. Those small isolation moves, that'll do it. I might try it. I wonder if I could take a class. I should probably look up some classes on YouTube. That's what I'm going to do. All right, you guys, I feel like I've been up here for a really long time. I would love to stay online with y'all all day, but I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to go to sleep. <laughs> I'm going to have to go to sleep, but I'm going to, I got to figure out how many days a week I can realistically do this and still accomplish other things. Cause I should be responding to comments on my YouTube. That's what I should be doing because I hate to not respond to a comment on my YouTube. I hate it. I hate it. But it is it's getting overwhelming. <laughs> Let's see. I'm missing some comments. I do bar at Hotworks. Where's Hotworks? Is that in Atlanta? Do they have one in Atlanta? Anybody in here from Atlanta? Thank you, Susan. Love you guys. Jasmine, you speaking it. Listen, y'all, YouTube is not for the week, y'all. <laughs> YouTube is not for the week. <clears throat> Jasmine, what's your channel? What type of um, content do you do? I'm going to try to do that. I'm going to, I have some, I have some, um, what do you call it? Um, Theraflu. I'm going to take some Theraflu. Dog training and lifestyle. You do dog training video. What's your channel name? Can you leave it here? <laughs> I have a dog. I need, I need the dog training. Yeah. Leave your channel name, Jasmine. Just found the braider this past weekend. Found her on Facebook Marketplace. What's her name, Shay? Jasmine Dye. Jasmine Dye. You know, guys, went D-Y. That's the name? Okay, hold on. 
Jasmine died. I found you. Guys, when I tell you guys, when you do YouTube and you and you meet other YouTubers, like, because I know how hard it is and because I know how much work it is, I, I'm watching, I'm liking, and I'm commenting. It's so hard. It's so difficult. Like, it literally takes hours to edit a video. I did my hour walk this morning. Whoop, whoop. Becoming her, I want to do, I want to try documenting my journey, but I always get scared. You got to be scared and you got to do it anyway. You have to be scared and you have to do it anyway. You got, do not, you got one life. Y'all, you have one life. Just do it. What's the worst, what's the worst that could happen? Honestly, like what's the worst case scenario? What's the worst case scenario? Do it, babe. Do it. Yes, Jasmine, it is a breath of fresh air. Like, it's a community. YouTuber, yes, it's a community for sure. The Peloton has bar classes? Where have I been? Are you kidding me? You know what? I've been, I'm going to tell you this. I've been on the Peloton, the, the treadmill. So... Maybe I would probably see it more on the bike if I was getting on my bike mar more, but I kind of left my bike and started getting on the treadmill. So let me look at the Peloton app. Yes. Subscribe to Jasmine. Listen, we got to support each other because it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not easy. And you know what? A lot of us are doing it. We're not even getting nothing for it. <laughs> You know, like, unless you monetize, obviously, and the monetization helps with just, you know, it's a lot of work, you know, so every little bit helps, but you know how many YouTubers I've found you guys that have amazing content and have 200 subscribers. I watch every video. I like it. And I comment it because they're amazing, you know, and they're doing it for nothing. The video, listen, my the fat loss video, I posted that video. That video sat at 40 something views for a few days. I kid you not. And I was so happy about it. I had made a post. So I was like, oh, I hit um, what did I say? I said something like, I love um, I love YouTube. You do you you edit for 40 hours, you only get 42 views, but I love it anyway. That was my post on threads, right? And I kid you not, after I had that moment, this is why this is why I want to talk to you guys. I was so grateful for the 42 views that the next day, that 42 turned into 1,200. The next day, it turned into 4,000. And now it's at 170, it's 160 something thousand views. I was so grateful for the 42 views on the video. Gratitude. Did you guys watch the Glow Up video? The Glow Up video, I talk about gratitude in that video. It is literally the secret. It is literally the secret, okay? That's why I say in that video, if you, if your car, I don't care if the bumper's falling off, if you don't treat your car with respect and thank it and give it gratitude for carrying you from point A to point B, God is not about to bless you with no new car. I was like 42 views, whoop, but I love it anyway. Gratitude is so important. Can we break up the 45 minute walk, like 25 minutes? I think, yeah, I think that you should definitely do that if you can't do it all at once. I think every little bit counts. The science behind doing it all in one is because for about the first 30 minutes or so, you're, I don't want to use, I can't use the medical terms because I'm not, I'm not a fitness expert. But before your, it takes a while for your body to get to the point where it's just burning the fat. It takes about a good 45 minutes. That makes sense. But cal either way, you know, calories in, calories out. So if you're burning calories, obviously you'll be in a deficit like that. But if you want to burn fat, which is what we want to do, I want my stomach to be snatched. If you can do it the 45 minutes, but obviously do, do what you can. I think it's important to do what you can. Like, don't, don't overthink it. But if you have a day that you can do the 45 minutes, then do it. If it's um, difficult for you to walk for that long of a time, wait till you get stronger. 
Don't don't go all out. Don't go all out and hurt yourself because then it's not going to be fun. And it's meant to be enjoyable and fun. Okay? Okay, guys. I love you guys so much. I'm going to hop off now. I'm going to try to take care of myself so that way I could be better tomorrow and I can go on my walk tomorrow and I could, you know, communicate with you guys in the group. And um, I have to do some housekeeping on the website, all that good stuff. So um, I had somebody say that they wanted like, you know, sports bras and like workout gear and all that good stuff. So we can have our little IGU clothing when we do all of our walks. So I definitely want to work on that as well. So I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. And the next one, I will definitely schedule the live. I will let you guys know in advance. Okay. You're very welcome. I love you guys. Good night.